Hi, I'm Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why being thankful is honestly the best thing you can do to ensure your own abundance, your own prosperity, but also how it also ensures that your intuition turns on, clears your chakras, it improves your health. In other words, it is the magic bullet for making everything in your life work. So welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy it and we'll stick around. So why being thankful is so important? Well, the universe works by vibration and it's all about whatever you put out gets mirrored back to you. It's really that straightforward. So if you're putting out a resentful or a negative or a jealous or a cynical vibration, you will actually have that boomerang right back to you. Sometimes not in such a very obvious way. You can, you, it can be a little trickier. You might meet someone who at first appears to be very positive and very uplifting, but as you get to know them, it begins to dawn on you that maybe they're secretive and maybe they're jealous or competitive behind your back or not faithful or loyal or some other yucky behavior. But in fact, it's the kind of energy you have buried in you. So clearly it's nothing you can get away with. Your vibration is your vibration. It makes a statement about who you are and the way the universe works, the way the quantum field this is our new modern science works, is that whatever you're vibrating out will return to you. It's going to always be a match. Now, it might be a disguised match. It might be a tricky match, but it's a match. So that's why investing in having a positive and really genuinely thankful energy, grateful and energy of gratitude and great energy of, of thankfulness is an investment in your own experience improving and getting better and better. Now, here's the thing. Your ego isn't thankful. It's not by nature a thankful part of you. Your ego is a part of you that's insecure, competitive, easily threatened, territorial, and it looks at the world with the eyes of, you're gonna hurt me, so I gotta keep my guard up. And that, perspective just filters out all the reasons to be thankful. It actually perceives everything, even the good things, as potentially threatening because from the ego standpoint of you, well, you're good to me today, but what about tomorrow? Are you going to be good to me tomorrow? I better keep my guard up just in case. Oh, you love me? Well, I'm not so sure. So I'm going to test you by being as obnoxious as I can just to see if you're going to stick around because I'm not going to take a risk on you. I think that you know what I'm talking about because we all have that part of us. We all have an aspect of this. And the truth is, it's not thankful because it's much too busy focused on survival. So the vibration stays very low. It pushes the world away. So it's the opposite of attracting energy to you. And it blocks your intuition because your intuition is a faculty of your heart chakra. It's where the spirit in you comes in and begins to look around and engage and create with life. And if you're, if you're in your ego, your heart is closed and you have the go away sign energetically up and it pushes away and it disregards all the wonderful subtle signs that your higher self, your intuitive self, your spirit is trying to get through to you to help your life flow more smoothly. So if you're not thankful, you are sort of unplugging the light, putting yourself in the dark, shutting the door, throwing away the key, and there you get stuck all by yourself wondering why my life is so lonely and so unpleasant. So I want you to get clear about being thankful is not a guilt trip that that we've all heard when we were kids, like, you know, quit complaining, someone else in the world has it worse off than you. 
Because actually, even that I think is, is worth a little more examination. Some of the people that we would project are living more simple lives, having, you know, maybe less material goods, but because they're thankful and happy hearted, they're having a beautiful experience. While you might be buried in material comforts, but miserable. So let's just say it is a very important and self-interested choice to make. Now, with that said, we have to get out of the ego and we have to get connected to your spirit because it's only your spirit and your heart that is genuinely thankful. So let us start by naming what you love about your own spirit because er, that opens that sticky door heart and kind of lets the light not only in, but it lets your light out. So start by just naming. You can even stop and pause this, this video for a few minutes and just name. What are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? What do you love about yourself? That is genuinely and honestly true. For example, are you in good health? Well, you can be thankful for that, especially if you've been recently challenged with your health because all of a sudden, oh my God, if you have the least bit of health problems, then nothing feels good. So if you're feeling good, if you have health or at least a semblance of health, start there. Are you thankful for your mind? Are you able to make your own decisions? Are you able to make your own choices? I mean, this is pretty basic stuff, but we got to start at the beginning. Now, once you can name, you don't have to name a big list of what I love about myself, because even that can be a stretch of the self, you're, that it's running the bus of your life is your ego. So let's start thinking about circumstances. Now, I like to follow the chakras to see what I'm thankful about and how my spirit activating those chakras and looking through the lens of that makes it super easy to start remembering what to be thankful for. So the first chakra has to do with comfort and security and predictability. So from the eyes of your spirit that, that you love, that you are appreciative is, is present, what, what makes you comfortable? Can you be grateful for that? Maybe your favorite pair of shoes, a comfy sweater, your pillow. Maybe the roof over your head. Maybe, maybe you're comfortable in your neighborhood. Maybe the clothes you wear. Just basics and just start to feel the ah, feeling that comes with things that make you comfortable. Take a breath and just name them. You know, I'm very grateful for my favorite pair of shoes. I'm very grateful for my favorite scarf that I put on every time I go out and it's windy. Or I am very grateful for my raincoat. Whatever simple thing, I truly am grateful for my, my pillow. Those sorts of things make your heart open. They're genuine and authentic and they kind of get the energy flowing again. Then the next place we go is the second chakra. These are the things that bring you pleasure, things you enjoy, like music. Do you like music? Are you thankful for music? Is there any music that you've listened to lately or that, that you enjoy? Are you thankful for chocolate? That's another one for flavor. That's another thing that you can be thankful for if you enjoy that. Are there any people you enjoy being around? Do you have a book club, for example? Do you have a biking club? Do you have a gardener's club? Thankful for that, a best friend that you can, you can connect with or laugh with. That also, that second chakra, when you think about the things that really bring you pleasure in life, kind of break it up, when you have a good laugh, you have some fun, gets that energy moving along even further. So we go to the third chakra, which is, the part of you that's in charge and makes decisions in life that is that is the boss of you. So it's a place where you get to decide. So where in your life are you making decisions? Then you're grateful and thankful that you're making them. For example, you get to choose what you wear in the morning unless you're in a uniform. Are you thankful for that? Or conversely, are you thankful that you have a uniform when you go to work so you don't have to worry about what to wear? Maybe you can be thankful for that. Or maybe you can be thankful that you got to choose where to go on vacation this year or what car to drive or if you're going to walk or ride a bike. You, you have choices what you're going to eat for dinner. When you go out to dinner, you get to choose what you want. You're not just being forced to eat anything. And that you have choices as an adult that maybe you didn't have as a kid. 
Be thankful for that. And what choices are working out for you? You know, our ego looks at everything and says, nothing's working out for me. It's an all or nothing animal and it tends to be really bleak. But your spirit is quite different. It is the light of your life. It is the energy that lifts you up. So what about your life that you're choosing? Do you like the city you're living in? Do you like the neighborhood you're in? Do you like the, the walk you take? Do you like a favorite restaurant you get to go to? Do you like to listen to a certain channel on uh, music? I mean, think about it. it just to feel like, well, I'm choosing this and it works for me. Then we go to the, the, the heart chakra. That's here right in the chest area. And the heart chakra is a part of you that is connecting to others. Are you are you connected to any group of people that make you happy? Do you have a family of origin, children, siblings, parents that you actually love? Neighbors, friends? Are you part of a group? Are you part of a, uh, a, a neighborhood? Are you, do you like your job or the people you're with? Do you like friends in a book club? Do you like, are you comfortable with people who travel? Just get to talk to them. It, you don't need many. One's enough, but if you have one or two, even better. And think about, I feel connected. You know what else is good when you start to work with the spirit is you have angels and you have guides. You have a loving universe that's just really ready and willing to come in the minute you say, okay, I'm thankful you're here and I'm going to let you in. Surprise me with something good. Just surprise me. That's also really a fun way because when you open the heart further and you start to be thankful for your angels and guides and you can even play a game with them and start saying, I'm really thankful that you're going to bring me beautiful surprises today. And then at the end of the day, I'm really thankful that you brought me and then named the surprises because you will have them. The throat chakra, the, this is your expression. Your expression is not just your words. It's what you wear, it's what, how you decorate your home, it's, it's the things you like to read, it's the things you like to talk about, it's the things you care about, and it's also the things your intuition is guiding you toward. So are you thankful for that? It's even good to just say, I'm thankful my intuition works when I pay attention. And this is, I'm thankful I have a voice. Most people do. We might be muted, not use it, but at least we have it. I'm thankful my ears work. That's another one that's the throat shot. I can hear. And if I can't hear well, at least I can feel vibration. Thankful I can be informed. Ah, <sighs> at this point, open your jaw really wide. You feel a click in your ear. And you're going to feel an opening in here and in your heart and your gut and all the way down that cascading down and opening all those channels that are designed to be open. Ah. And then we come up here to the, the, the sixth chakra. This is your solution chakra. This is your have a good idea chakra. This is your I can see my way forward or I can imagine or I can envision or visualize something better. And think about what part of that chakra are you? And it's your eyesight too. Like, what do you see? What are you focusing on? What, what's in your mind's eye? Be thankful that you can actually choose. That's third chakra to express and imagine. You start so button these up together and I see things. I can imagine things. I can envision things. I can create things because everything in your life was envisioned first. The clothes you wear, the you know, home you live in, the garden you have, if you have one, even the friends you have, everything on some level was started here. If you could imagine it, you can have it. How wonderful is that? And then your crown chakra is what connects you to the divine. You start being thankful that you are actually deeply connected to the divine, that you have a higher self that will take care of you and you don't have to think so much when you allow that part of you in and you can let that part of you run your life by just saying the higher self, Holy Spirit in me, you take over and make the decisions for me. Be thankful for that because that simplifies your life. So if you just kind of go through this process, you're going to see your energy popping open. It's sort of like a holiday lights, you know, boom, 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 boom. <gasps> and then you feel lighter. 
You know, just know your ego is not thankful. So you don't want to go there. You don't want to go through the ego. It turns all the lights out and leaves you stuck and alone. But if you start going through the chakras from the vantage point of your spirit, you can start feeling this energy and guess what you're going to get? You're going to get more love, more affection, more opportunity, more abundance. You're going to get people offering you wonderful, good things. I promise you don't have to believe me. Try this for five days, six days and see what happens. Come back and report in the, in the, in the section where you can comment because this is power energy and it ricochets back to you. Even in 72 hours, your life's going to get a whole lot better really fast. Think about being thankful for the wonderful surprises coming your way, the gifts, the blessings, the whatever that you want, the new job, the new boyfriend or girlfriend, or the new the restor restoration of your health or the vacation. When you start being thankful for what you want before it shows up, you accelerate it. And so this is when it really gets fun. I am thankful for the beautiful life on its way to me today. Thankful for the beautiful life I have now and the 10 times better beautiful life on the way to me tomorrow. So practice this and that way Thanksgiving becomes your holiday. It becomes the holiday where you get to be your own Santa Claus, your own bearer of the gifts. And when you use this energy to your advantage, I'm telling you, you become an instant manifester of everything good for real because you can't fake a vibration. You can't manifest a good life from the frequency of your ego, only your spirit. But when you do use your spirit, you are thankful, all the energy starts moving in a higher direction and comes back to you, guaranteed, even better than you could ever imagine. So thanks for listening to me. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Happy Thanksgiving to you as a co-creator. This is your gift to you. Happy, happy holiday. I really appreciate you joining in and I hope I see you again soon. All my love.